Ash Sadiq, Vivid Visions. Vivid Visions, Ash Sadiq. To start off, I'd like each and every one of us to think and imagine something that we really want. It could be graduation day, it could be the job that we dream of, it could be the house on the hill, or maybe you dream of having a Tesla, or you want a new Apple car with a few discs, right? And what I'd like to do, something a little bit different, I'd like to invite Jabbar and Leandri over here, just for a few seconds, sure. over here together with me. And what we're going to do is we're really going to envision the three of us. We just bought this lot of land in Napa Valley. And we are business partners. And we are going to talk about our vision for what kind of winery we're going to build. And I would like to just hear from you some ideas for what do you envision in this piece of land? What would you like to see happen? Just in your vision and preference. Well, I like to start. Sure. On this land, on my winery, although I don't believe in drinking wine yet, <laughs> I feel that this is a place where people can come enjoy uh, wine, a, a sacred uh, beverage that people enjoy and love with the steak. And I want them to to enjoy themselves and come to a place that, that feels good and they can enjoy the, the wine that they're consuming. I would like the winery to be a full-blown resort, so we would have a hotel, we'd have the strip set of wine and stuff over here. <laughs> we'd have a child care and maybe like an arcade so the kids can have fun and everyone can come, maybe a spa for the moms or whoever else wants to enjoy themselves. Water but, park. Water park, thank you. <laughs> but I just envisioned it being a place that everyone could come to and have fun as a family. That's awesome, that's awesome. I want to thank you so much, that's, that's fantastic. Just based on the, the words that, uh, what's your name? Santa. Santa and Jamar have mentioned, you could already hear the noises of the children and the people who sing the water park and the people sitting and enjoying the drinks and enjoying the meals. It's a full blown resort. You can imagine, you can see it with your own eyes, don't you? Then it's very easy for us to work our way backwards from that vision assuming the three of us now have what we can actually call a unified destiny and vision. Once I come up with a future idea for what it is I want to achieve, and then not only that, I actually take the steps to go to Mark and talk with Mark and really make sure that we come to an agreement on that vision. Now we have something that boxes. And the most beautiful thing about it, when you actually start thinking that way, when you start with a vision for what it is you want to achieve, like the conversation about a world where, where there is no drug wars, right? Where the, there are no people who are dying because of going after something that is meaningless, right? Um, once we start to feel that vision, we start to hear the sounds, we start to feel it in our own bodies, then we have something that is much more doable and achievable than if we were just sitting down and writing a plan on paper. Because when we write it on paper, it is so intellectual, and a lot of the time we're like, I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna do this. But once you feel it in your bones, it's almost like there's nobody that can actually get in your way anymore. Because everyone, every time you stand to talk about it, somehow it's like, it's coming across. Your whole body is really communicating it. And everybody literally would want to get out of your way because they feel like, you know what? I can do nothing to stop this lady or this guy from achieving the vision. The whole concept of starting with a vision is really about developing this emotional bond with what we want to achieve. And what I really want to do, given where you are in life right now, is envision that graduation day, what it feels like, the family members that are going to be there with you, hearing and listening to the sounds and the, the speeches that are being given on the stage and the outfits you're wearing and this amazing promise of a future to come. Once I envision being there, it's just a matter of time for me to be there. 
imagine all the derailments that can happen if I would allow that to happen, right? So the commitment that I develop, I'm gonna make it to that day. I'm gonna make sure I hear those sounds, I'm gonna make sure I see those speeches and hear these people talking, and I would be as excited about that day as I'm excited about the beginning that will happen from that day onwards, right? So I'm going to come back now and summarize what is it that you need to do in order to develop a vision for the future. Definitely, you're either going to do it alone to start with, but definitely then have other people work with you to really bring a lot of life, sounds, feelings, and emotions to that vision, then document it. Some people use what's called a vision board. They put pictures on that board, right? It could be the job, it could be the house, it could be the car, it could be the nonprofit that you want to create and go and, and achieve amazing things and really help develop a cause where it's a world where no drug wars will be uh, launched and people dying because of it, right? We haven't tried that, I think we should try that, right? Billions and billions of dollars are spent so I can envision really being part of that cause and then develop a unified destiny with Mark, with Jabbar, with other people that I think will help me and I will help them achieve that unified vision because now we have a unified destiny. And then what we do is we go to the nitty gritty detail. What is the action plan? And we timeline it on project management all we want, but never losing sight of that emotion that we started with because that, ladies and gentlemen, is what's gonna keep us moving forward. I am so honored to have found you.